Hi everyone, Mr. E here. This is a quick tutorial on making multi-layered skies. The first thing you'll need to do is create three images in your favorite paint program. I use paint.net because A, it's free, and B, I'm cheap. You can use GIMP or Photoshop, they all work about the same. I'm not going to get into how you make the images, we'll assume you know how to do that. Okay, so the first image we're going to have is the star field. I'll just save this one as a JPG file since there is no transparency involved. The second image will be my moon layer. This one will be a transparent PNG file. I've just added the red background so the moon will stand out, but we'll remove that. And you can see most of the image is that familiar gray and white checkerboard pattern that you get when you have a transparent file. Next comes the cloud layer. Again, this is a transparent file and I've added the red background so you can see the cutout of the clouds. Now I'll just remove that red and uh, I'll save this again as a PNG and then we'll upload to PhotoBucket. Okay, the pictures are uploaded and now I'm back in a Zabby where I've put all three images on three different sky spheres. Now it's important that you put all three spheres on the same exact X, Y, and Z coordinate. Now I'm going to select the largest of the spheres, and as you can see here, I set the X and the uh, Z uh, scaling to 320 times. Now that large sphere is the one that I put the star field on that I made. I didn't put any rotation on that prop, it'll just sit there uh, in the same position in the background. Okay, we'll unlock that one. And now I will grab the medium sized sphere. There it is there. Okay, now this one I have at 310 for X and Z scaling. So this one is slightly smaller. Uh, it's the one that I put the moon on that I created in paint.net. Now if I go up to the script tab, you can see I've set it to rotate clockwise uh, at the lowest possible velocity. It's uh, 0 0.01. This will allow the moon to rotate slowly through the sky. Okay unlock that one and now we'll bring up the third sky sphere this is the smallest of the three now this one I've set to rotate also in a clockwise direction but it's at a slightly higher velocity it's one click up from the moon so uh, this is the cloud layer and it will actually move across the moon as the moon is moving through the sky oops uh, you can see that the velocity there is set to 0 0.02 and now we'll go up to the scale tab and you can see this one is 300 300 for the X and Z so it's the, it is the smallest of the three sky spheres so now we're gonna unlock that and we're gonna get rid of prop editor and let's take a look at our result what we now have instead of a sky that's either stationary or everything's rotating at the same speed is we have a moon that's slowly moving in front of the stars behind it and clouds that are slowly drifting across the face of the moon. So anyway, this is just a fun little way to add just a little more realism to any of your other verse properties. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop me a line and let me know in the other Earth social center. And if there's something in Prop Editor that you'd like explained in a tutorial, feel free to drop me a line about that too. Thanks folks!